that it isn't only just about a race to develop new technologies and implement them as quickly as possible. That what we're talking about here is a is a transformation in our economic and and social system and our and our ways of life. We need policies to to really uh, be designed to send the right market signal that will unlock new business model that will help mobilize private capital. Um, and, and we need this both in our economies, but also, uh, I think you alluded to that, in emerging economies too. Key thing that we got to do is to uh, produce hydrogen at a sufficient scale and at a commercially attractive cost, bringing down the cost of producing and distributing hydrogen uh, to make it competitive with other uh, fossil fuels. We also have to start to create the demand for this hydrogen. Uh, because you can invest in, you know, in, in supply, but there has to be uses uh, ready to, to take the hydrogen. And there's an element of chicken and egg there where you really need to work together across the supply chain with your customers and also with policymakers to make all of that happen. This decade is the decade of electricity. And really, um, this is where we think the role of data is going to be critical. So there are studies that are saying that AI can contribute potentially to 4% carbon reduction um, year uh, over year. And we, we believe that the deployment of AI technology and machine learning technologies can really be an unlocker to the electricity system flexibility that would be required.